So why is oral sex or eating her out extremely important for women? There's a lot more to it than you might think. In the last few years, women's health has come to the forefront. More women are demanding oral sex and there's more research being done on it. So when only 30% of women are able to orgasm through vaginal sex, what happens to the other 70%? The answer is oral sex, but needing oral sex and getting good oral sex don't always happen. That means you need to learn everything you can about eating her out. You want to become the greatest lover your queen has ever experienced. You know she has a world of possibilities for you, both between her legs. You choose to enjoy performing cunnilingus because the possibilities that come from worshipping her in the greatest way possible are endless to you. You show her that she is the one woman you desire the most, you dream about, with your face pressed between her delicious legs in the act of complete worship, which can only be described as her sacred feminine divine. So here are some tips to make your experience mind-blowing and memorable. Take your time. Women are not like men. When it comes to getting turned on during sex, women take much longer to get going and require a lot of foreplay. Many times a woman will only be ready once you've kissed her, massaged her, teased her, and made sure she's comfortable for at least 30 minutes. The number one mistake many men make is they're getting to the main event way too fast. Warm her up, make her as wet as possible, even before you begin oral worship. Make her wanna beg to have you inside of her. Next, try different positions. Women are different from men, and they are also individual in the positions that help them to orgasm. In my book, Oral Sex for Women, there are detailed descriptions of positions for you to try, which go a long way to helping to spice things up and give your woman different sensations. Some women love lying on their backs, other like face sitting, sitting on a sofa, kneeling. Every woman's vagina is different, so it may require some experimenting to ensure you find the right position to pleasure your queen correctly. Next, suck it right. Just because oral sex involves a tongue does not mean that anything you do with your tongue is going to work. There is a process which must be followed to learn to use the tongue correctly. But the main thing to remember is it is very important to switch things up. Light licks, sucking, swirls, all important. Practice makes perfect. My book Oral Sex for Women provides detailed instructions on how to suck and lick correctly. Add some sex toys. Her rabbit or vibrate affects her sensations. Now you'll send her into orbit. Next. Flattery will get you everywhere. Many women have been raised to believe that they do not deserve oral sex. This could be the fault of religious upbringing or family rules. Now, oral sex was always something taboo, while oral sex for men was considered mandatory. Now, in the world of female-led relationships, oral sex has become mandatory, and the more you seem willing and eager to perform cunnilingus with enthusiasm, the more your queen will be excited about it. It's important to compliment her and make your queen feel sexy and desirable. Never ever recoil in horror at anything which makes her feel uncomfortable. Spend time on performing oral worship the same way you would enjoy penetration because the queen is completely turned on and is going to feel so much more willing to be adventurous during penetration. My book Oral Sex for Women is your bible to learn everything you need to give your queen the ultimate oral sex pleasure session she deserves.